The United Nations began an unusual meeting today in Geneva, a discussion about killer robots. And even though they don't exist yet, the technology for lethal autonomous weapon systems are certainly headed in that direction. As Nala Ayad reports, this is prompting scientists to sound the alarm. We're gonna miss the good old days. One good old days. When people were killed by other people. We do still have to resort to Hollywood to illustrate that terrifying scenario. Hell no. The fact is, we don't know exactly how close we are to producing machines that can choose targets and kill without human intervention. If think of me as your friend. But we do apparently know it is technologically feasible. But did we design them to be trusted? But did you know that precursors to killer robots are actually being developed right now? So there's a growing international campaign for a preemptive strike. Stop the killer robot before any nation actually creates it and gets too attached to the idea of machines deciding who lives or dies. Killer robots would revolutionize warfare in the way that uh, weapons like gunpowder and nuclear weapons did. It would totally change how wars are fought. Human Rights Watch points to existing semi-autonomous technology as a bad omen. Aircraft prototypes that take off and land on their own. Replace human-oriented guards. Robotic guards that can shoot infiltrators at borders. Last week, the group issued a warning of the legal and moral implications. If a robot wrongly shoots a civilian, who is responsible? Can they get away with war crimes? Proponents argue that, like drones, there are obvious military advantages to replacing humans with machines on the battlefield. That it could defeat uh, the enemy faster, uh, with less exposure of U.S. Um, soldiers or Canadian soldiers uh, to harm. The debate is the subject of a week-long meeting at the UN headquarters in Geneva. I've been waiting for you. Advocates say a ban is the only way to head off the unexpected. I'll be back. What? Soon enough that, sadly, the only realistic aim is ensuring humans stay responsible for killing each other. Nalayad, CBC News, London.